Hello, Lakeview. I'm Dave Wilson. It is my privilege to bring you the video devotion this week. I was recently reading a book by Lori Polich Short entitled 40 Verses to Ignite Your Faith. Her discussion of Luke 22, 32 pointed out something I had completely missed. Let me read the entire passage of Luke 22, 31 through 34 from the ESV. This is Jesus talking to Peter. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. Peter said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will not crow this day until you deny three times that you know me. I've read this many times, but always glossed over what Jesus said in verse 32. Let me read that verse again. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. Jesus knew that Peter would crumble when faced with the reality of Jesus being arrested. He knew Peter needed to learn a lesson. So he did not pray for Peter to withstand the temptation to deny Jesus. Instead, Jesus' prayer was for Peter's faith to not fail and for Peter to strengthen his brothers after he turned back to following Jesus. I think two quotes from the book 40 Verses to Ignite Your Faith can help us better understand the essence of what Jesus was telling Peter in verse 32. Here's the first. So often we think temptation ends with either victory or failure. But Jesus suggests that the story continues. What happens after we fall is as important as the battle itself, and it can determine our continued course of faith. Here's the second quote. We can define ourselves by failure and give up, or do what Jesus tells Peter to do and turn back. As I thought about these quotes, it was clear to me that Satan wants us to believe that our sins define us. We need to realize that what really defines us is God's grace and the salvation offered to us. His grace does not end when we fall. God is waiting to restore us if we confess our sins and turn to him for forgiveness. It is a choice we need to make. I suggest you read 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10, and think about what it says. Spend time in prayer with God and allow God to really minister to you as you request forgiveness and the restoration of a relationship with him in all areas of your life. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great, great day. Goodbye.